because we expected it. But we come to expect Manchester City to beat any opponent they get on the field of play with. Manchester City beat Copenhagen 6-2 on aggregate and they cruise into the Champions League quarterfinals. But are they cruising to the trophy? Well, one Danish fellow by the name of Jakob Niestrup on TNT Sports certainly thinks so. Are they going to win it? They are. I think we have, we have played a couple of know, three very, very good teams. and uh, But this is just a level up. In, uh, in 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 everything and big respect for for that. I, th- I think the group we were in was was very very difficult and we did a great job and it was very good team. But but this is just a level up and it, it's uh, how it is. So that was a Copenhagen manager post match saying, "Yeah, we've been up close and personal with them, but looking at them, nobody can live with Manchester City." I'm inclined to agree, Simon, because the channel hopped a bit last night and saw a very indifferent performance from Real Madrid uh, against Leipzig. Although Madrid progressed, yeah, but City look a class apart, don't they? They do, and you know the the the, the principal idea that they w- that they will win the champions league is one that i've alighted upon for some time now because i think that they will now of course in knockout competitions we've seen manchester city be a very powerful side and lose games that you wouldn't have expected them to lose and that's all being put under the mantra of we're not experienced in europe which by the way is a lot of old cobblers because most of the players and managers that have managed man city are extremely experienced in playing in european football now that they are, for me, the best team in Europe. And so with that goes hand in hand, um, the, the, um, the not so much the responsibility, but the opportunity to win the Champions League back-to-back. Yeah. The irony of uh, Manchester City really is the only thing that's English about them is the geography uh, and the fan base. The rest of it isn't particularly English from the players on the field, although we've got some a nice spattering of English players in the Manchester City side achieving good things in Foden and certainly John Stones and Carl Walker, of course. But you could say that a lot about a lot, of the, that about a lot of the Premier League You could say that about a lot of the Premier League, yeah. So this argument that ultimately it's just about geography now. Once upon a time when the Spanish dominated the Champions League or the Italians dominated, it really was about indigenous clubs with indigenous players and indigenous management. It's all moved on. It's a globalised world. I expect Man City to win the Champions League unless they turn up and have a bad day. Madrid have been... In times, lucky in recent years in, in the Champions League, gotten through games that you wouldn't have expected them to have gotten through simply because they want to and they find a way and they have the know-how. So all of that forms part of it. But they've, they've broken the seal, Manchester City. There's no barrier to entry anymore. They've won the Champions League. So the challenge now for European football is they might have the European football and the UEFA's of the world might have the same challenge we're going to have in the domestic Premier League, which is they're going to have a domination potentially of the Champions League by Manchester City. Yeah. That's not going to sit very well with them because they pride themselves on the competitivity and the jeopardy of it, albeit we've seen significant domination, dominant, you know, dominance from Real Madrid mm. over the years. Mm. Yeah. I mean, only one team in the history of the Champions League have won it back to back, and that's Real Madrid in 2018. Yeah. Um, I think it's ta- I think it's City's <coughs> time. I, oh, really I do, do too. I do too. I, I think that ultimately, as I say, they've, they've broken the seal. The genie's out of the bottle in terms of can they win a Champions League? Of course they can win a Champions League. Of course they should have done previously. They now have. So now what they'll do, in my view, is cement things because this is what um, serial, relentless, determined winners do. They don't lose their appetite. They don't run out of energy. They continue. And they continue to develop until they finish whatever they think they've got to finish. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.